Target continues to insist on its transgender bathroom policy in spite of intense backlash and the loss of $10 billion. At the annual meeting of investors, the CEO of Target insisted their bathroom policy allowing men to use women's bathrooms had not impacted the company financially in spite of a loss in stock value of $10 billion and counting. Justin Danhoff, an investor, said in a press release, quote, Target's shareholder meeting was appalling from beginning to end. In his words, the CEO just kept repeating the same vacuous lines about diversity and inclusion.